We've talked about primitive data types so far, as well as different notions of arrays in terms of lists and tuples. And one of the other fundamental representations that are built into uh, Python is uh, the notion of a dictionary. A dictionary is, is uh, an implementation of something called a hash map. So those of you who worked in a higher level languages such as Java or uh, C++, you might very well have uh, run into implementations of these. Uh, the, the, the fundamental idea behind a hash map is that uh, they're, they're really pairs of two things, a key and, and a value. So there's some set of keys that, that we use to look up uh, information within the hash map, and then each key is associated with a particular value. One of the cool things is that keys can literally be anything. So it could be primitive data from strings to numbers, uh, all the way out to uh, objects in and of themselves. And uh, th this type of a data structure is, is something that was it's built into to the, the fundamental levels of Python, and it actually gets used to manage things such as passing parameters uh, from one function to another. So let me transition over to the iPad, and we'll do a quick example there before we do code. So the, the idea here is that we might have a, a set of keys, so a value five could be a key. Uh, we might also have a string, uh, or we could have an object uh, of some form, and that and that can be uh, it can come from any uh, location. Um, so each of these keys is uh, associated with uh, some sort of a uh, a value. Here, uh, five is associated with uh, say some uh, particular uh, string. Uh, or the key the key foo might might be associated uh, with some sort of an object that we've created and we'll, we'll do some examples here of objects uh, here in, in a couple of modules um, for now I will just give you a, a value here 42.8 uh, and some object, so for example, range function, the, the range function that we've used already uh, returns an object, so that could actually also be associated with uh, some sort of a, a value. It's possible to have uh, multiple keys all pointing to uh, the same object. Uh, however, the keys themselves are uh, unique. Uh, if you uh, try to set a new value for a key, we, we lose the, the old value. So if I were to say uh, set, set bar now to be, uh, to be the string foobar, uh, then uh, this link disappears and we end up with uh, a link say to that string there. Okay, so let's, let's do a live example here uh, in code. Okay, there, there are a variety of ways to, uh, to declare uh, hashes, and this is one, uh, one particular way. Uh, we use curly brackets in order to, uh, to designate the things that belong inside of the hash. Uh, when we do this, uh, then uh, we, we specify uh, the key value pairs in sequence. So I might have, say, the string directory here, and that is associated with a particular value. So in this case, my home directory. So, so that's a key value pair. Uh, we can have other things as well. So let's say data set, uh, and that's associated with, uh, say, uh, we'll, we'll work with some data from, from some of my baby work. Uh, so baby one might be associated with the data set. Uh, index uh, might be associated with a particular uh, value. And of course, we can also uh, have uh, values that are associated, it, integer values that are associated with uh, some item. Okay, so now we've declared a hash. This particular hash has uh, four different keys uh, associated with it. So directory, dataset, index, and 
the integer three. And, and now we can do a, a variety of things with it. So for example, we can query the hash uh, for particular values. And the syntax looks a lot like we're indexing an array, uh, except uh, Python knows that we're dealing with a hash and, and so it'll use whatever value that, that is provided uh, inside the square brackets to, to look up the, the associated value. So, so let's ask it what the directory is. So execute that and you'll see that we get back the value uh, that's associated with uh, the directory key. Um, likewise, we can look up uh, our index or we can look up uh, the value that's associated with key three. Now, if I ask my hash for a value that's associated with some unknown key, then Python will throw uh, an error. So, so one thing you have to be cautious about is making sure you're only querying the, uh, the, the querying keys that are uh, that exists within the uh, dictionary. Okay, so we can augment this this dictionary in in this way. Uh, so let's see, we'll give it some new key of some form. Oops. So I'm associating a the key new key with a new value string. Execute that, and uh, and now I can ask what uh, my hash is. So so notice now instead of uh, five, sorry, four keys, we have three keys. That new keys and value pair are right there. You can also get access to the set of keys that are part of the hash, and. By, by using the uh, keys function. So this is an example of where we're explicitly addressing an object. So my, my hash is an instance of an object and dot keys means, and, and the parentheses means go out to uh, this object, find the function keys and execute that. And there's what we get uh, out of that. So that's, th this is actually returning an, an iterator that that allows us to uh, work through all of the keys. So let's let's do a quick example that actually uh, exploits that. So let's iterate over the keys. So I'm going to uh, use a for loop for that in my hash dot keys. So again, uh, this will, this produces an iterator and k every step through the for loop is going to take on a, a value uh, that's generated by the, the iterator. So it'll, it'll take on these items in, in some sequence. There's not a, a guarantee uh, in this case as to what the values are. Uh, and then let's print out the key. So there we go. So three new key, data set, et cetera. We can also generate a for loop that does some more interesting things. So let's print, we'll do a formatted string for fun here. So I'm, I wanna print the sequence of uh, key and value pairs and there's a range of ways to do this. Let me do it in one way. Um, so remember that percent %s here means substitute a string in, into these two locations and then I have to tell it uh, where those values are coming from. Um, since the keys and the values are not guaranteed to be strings, we're going to use the string function to ensure that they are all strings before we uh, do the formatting. So str k and str uh, my hash, uh, and we'll pull the value that's associated with the hash. So, so for the given key, this this segment of code returns the value associated with the key. We convert that to a string, and then that's going to get inserted into uh, in, into the uh, formatted string at this point here. So let's execute that. 
and, and there we go. So three, new key, new value, data set, baby one, et cetera. Now we, th this, in, in, from a Python sense, this, this may be a little bit cumbersome to, to iterate over the keys and then, uh, and then uh, translate each key into a, a value. And there's a little bit more clean way of doing this. Uh, so let me type out the code and then we'll uh, explain it. So we're gonna get out a key and a value So this items function produces an iterator that uh, generates a sequence of tuples and the tuples are going to be the key and the value pairs. So at each step through the for loop, we'll get one key and the associated value uh, the, that's associated with that key. So let's print those out. So that makes for, whoops, we still need to make sure we convert those to strings. But that makes for slightly shorter code. So let's execute that. Uh, I'm missing a, so this is an example of what happens when you execute something and you are missing a, a close paren. There we go, let's try again. And there we have the same output as, as we did before. So that's the quick introduction to, to hashes, uh, or in Python we call them dictionaries. Uh, these get used a lot uh, in our work in, in terms of, say, storing uh, the set of parameters that we need for a particular uh, learning algorithm. And, and that turns out to be a nice modular way of, uh, of, of setting experiments up where we might uh, use one al algorithm uh, for a data set and it needs certain kinds of parameters uh, and then we'll use a different algorithm uh, for the same data set but that new algorithm needs a different set of parameters and, and these parameters are often managed in terms of uh, dictionaries. So we'll see examples of that as we go a little bit further.